Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the HP RT MT810 wireless printer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the printer, some of the features and benefits that it offers. What I also want to do is to get it all set up and show you how it works. Just for a start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give me a quick thumbs up. What I do is I talk about household appliances. I do specialize in vacuum cleaners and there's normally a bit of tech in there like this little device here. For those of you that, that have followed me on YouTube for a while, you notice I'm actually in a different location for recording this. I'm just away on business at the moment. And this is why this printer is really interesting. Uh, because it's a mobile printer and it's wireless as well, then I suppose like for this scenario where you've come away on business and if you need to print something, rather than going to find somewhere to get something printed out, if you've got this little printer that you've taken away with you, it could be ideal. So anyway, let's just get the printer unboxed. I must say I like the, I do like the packaging. Uh, it's something I try and comment on, on quite a few of my videos. Uh, it's quite, quite a fun design on the box. I know it doesn't mean a huge amount to with the printer, but it's nice that the, the manufacturers have made an effort to make even the packaging look a bit smarter. So here we go. This is the printer itself. And it does come with a roll of paper as well. So this was separate out of the box. And the final couple of bits you got in the box. First of all, you got the USB charging cable that just plugs into the side. That's uh, easy to get to. So that's included. Uh, clearly being a wireless printer, at some point it will need to be charged. I suppose it is recommended once you first get the printer, just to give it a good charge. Um, also the final thing in the box is this. You got the cheeky little book of instructions. Uh, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, you know I'm not a huge fan of instructions. And upon opening the box, uh, I suppose the reason I'm not too, uh, too much of a fan of instructions, I quite like to figure things out for myself rather than just reading how to do it. And at the moment, uh, I think I'm going to have to do that because all of this is in a different language. But what I've done is I've actually uh, I'm just downloading the app at the moment. And if you just have a look on the back here, you've got a couple of QR codes. So I've just scanned the one on the right. And as we speak, I'm just downloading the app. Um, hopefully that should give me a little bit more information on how to use the printer. As far as the size of the printer, it is really nice and compact. It's only 28 centimeters wide. As far as the depth of it, it's only nine and a half centimeters and the height of it's only five centimeters. So a really nice compact design. So if you are taking it away, either on business or if you needed to take it away with you somewhere where you needed a mobile printer, then ideal size. Uh, as far as the colors, so it is actually available in four different colors. Uh, first of all, there's this color. This is classed as midnight. Uh, it's like a, basically it's black. Uh, you've also got starlight, which is a white color. Misty Rose, which is quite nice, it's, it's a little bit different, it's like a, a very light pink. And you've got Pearl White, uh, which I suppose when I look at the colour, is like a, a creamy colour. So it's nice you've got a different range of colours to go out as well. Now I just mentioned that the roll of paper I've got was separate within the packages I've received. Uh, but clearly this is a separate roll of paper, uh, because the main roll is actually contained within the printer itself. Just show you that. So I think all I need to do is just to feed it out of the front of the printer. And when it comes to putting the paper in the printer, couldn't be easier. Just locate it either side and then pull it out a little bit, shut that, and then that's ready to get going. And also you have got some slight serrations on the edge here. So you just need to be really careful because that can be quite sharp. But when it comes to tearing the paper off, then at least you've got a really good cutting edge to go out. So what I've done now is I've downloaded the app onto my phone. Uh, that was a really easy process, just scanning the QR code on the back of the box. Uh, so now I've downloaded it. Uh, I must admit, it's nice to see everything in English. Uh, I know a lot of the instructions were in an alternative language, but that's no problem. I've managed to sort it out. Uh, the first thing I want to do is we need to connect the printer up to my phone so we can print wirelessly. So if we press and hold the on and off button, just sings a little tune to you. And let's have a look. So let's press to connect. Clearly this is one of the MT series. This is the MT810. So let's click that and add device. So it's found it straight away. You will notice if you've been paying attention to where I am, I'm in a slightly different location now. 
I must admit I had a slight issue with the camera, but nevertheless, that's all sorted. I'm gonna carry on showing you the printer. But what I've done is this is all fully set up now. I know I was going through the setup process, but it's all fully set up. Uh, this is the menu, so just through the app. This is linked through Bluetooth. And I must admit, it's a really easy user interface. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to show you how easy it is to print. Because I've just tried to print a minute ago and I couldn't believe how easy it was. So first of all, you need to decide what you want to print. Uh, for some people, it could be a document. It could be a web page that you want to print. Uh, it could be a photo. There's, there's a whole range of things that you might want to print. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print one of each. Just show you how easy it is. Uh, so if I just move around the corner here. First of all, just before I show you that, I uh, just want to show you a little bit more in detail uh, the app itself. So first of all, it's showing you the percentage of battery remaining in the printer. Uh, that's really important. Uh, clearly you want to know if it does need recharging. Uh, I did show you it earlier as to the lead it comes with to show you how to charge it. Uh, I couldn't believe that through the 2600 milliamp battery, uh, in theory, you can print around 200 pieces of A4 paper through the printer. Um, I couldn't really believe how, you know, from something so small, so compact, that you could print so much. Uh, I suppose the main advantage of this, because it's on a roll of paper, then it doesn't matter what you're printing, there's no wastage. And that is something that I absolutely love. I hate to see waste. And especially if you follow me on YouTube for a while, uh, especially when I unpack a lot of products, uh, you will notice that I do comment on, I suppose, the packaging, what they come with, whether it's got uh, cardboard, um, how much of it's recyclable. But anyway, uh, back to the printer. So first of all, you've got the, uh, at the moment we're on 100%, which is brilliant. But what I want to do is just to show you the, you've got the settings on here to show you how to change the print quality. At the moment, so it's just saying print via Bluetooth. You have also got the option that you can plug it in to say a laptop if you wanted to, if you didn't want to print via Bluetooth. Uh, I have set the de default print density as high. You know, I want to try and get it as good a quality as possible. But as you see, there's, there's other different options down here. You've got device management and the information regarding the printer. But I think the proof will be in the pudding. So let's have a look. So click start. So the first one I want to do is a document and all it will do, uh, you've got the option. So you can see just here, I've got quite a few different things like I've got my Google Drive and I've got my OneDrive. Uh, I've got recent files on here that I have uh, either used or are saved to my phone, but this is one that I am going to print. Um, so, and then you've got an option at the bottom. What do we want to print? So I want to print it to either A4 or A5, you've got different size options. Uh, because this is an A4 document, then I'm actually going to print it to A4. That's just showing the document on here. Uh, you've got several options. So this is actually a four page document. So I think, i tell you what, I just need to, I'm gonna print all of it. And it's showing me at the bottom uh, that I want to print one page, one copy, the total length is 29.7 centimetres. Uh, that'll be per page. And it's got four pages at the bottom. You have got the option at the very bottom there if you wanted to print more than one copy. So if you wanted to print, say, five copies of something, just change that to five and away you go. But anyway, what I want to do is let's just go back to the beginning. And now that I've done that, at the top right here, I'm just going to press that button and it is asking me what print quality I want. As I say, I'm going to keep it on the high quality. Press OK and this is printing. So it always takes a moment just to initialize. So that's the first page done. And you will see that you've got a sharp serrated edge just on the inside here. 
Um, it, uh, to be honest, you don't, you wouldn't catch your fingers on it. Um, but when I've torn the page off, that's got a lovely neat edge. Uh, so you're not having to tear the paper in a an unfashionly manner. Uh, but then if you want to go to page two, then I can move that to page two. Um, to be honest, I, I did forget to have a look and I've got the current page. What I should have done, and I will admit it was a mistake of mine, nothing to do with the printer, I should have selected all. So what I am gonna do is I'm just going to reprint that because I want to print it all in one go. So now I've done that, I'm gonna press the print button and let's see what this does. So again, it's selecting the, the quality that I want to print out, press okay. And that's it, that's saying printing one of four and the little light's just flashing on top and away we go. I can't believe the speed of it. That's really quick. So tear paper. So what do you want to do? So we've got tips to tear the paper. Um, what I want to do, because it's a four page document, then I do want them separated. I want them individual. So I am just going to tear that page off like that and then say, I've torn the paper. You do have the option, so if you didn't want to, so if you wanted it all in one go, then you just press the, I've torn the paper and the printer will just carry on printing. So that's page two done. And then the final one, so as it says there, that's printing four or four. And then once we finish that, then that's that document printed. And bear in mind, this is completely wireless. I'll just prove that, there's, there's no cables to it. Uh, I only show you that because it's, it's quite uh, rare to have something like this, of this good quality, uh, where it's where there's no wires or anything connected. Anyway, I'm going to show you this. This is the document I've printed. Uh, I can't remember what it was, but this is a hazardous activity document that I've had stored. Uh, but hopefully you can see the quality on that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, I did select the original quality, the highest quality, the highest density. Uh, but they're quite a mixture, because you've got some areas that are quite dark here on the, the document. Uh, some of them are just words, but nevertheless, I'll be completely honest, I'm really, really impressed with that. And then that's the, the first page of it. But what I want to do now is I want to print something else. So from here, we just go to click start. That's it, press it. I'm gonna print a photo. Uh, I know printers like these, they, the quality can vary a huge amount, uh, especially when it comes to trying to print photos. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to print, let's find a picture. So I found a photo. This is one of me. Uh, for some of you that don't know, I do normally wear glasses, uh, mainly when I'm driving. Uh, I'm a little bit short-sighted, but that's a picture of me that I took and hopefully it won't break the printer if it's printing a copy of me on it. So what I've done is I've selected that at the top and completed. And what size do I want to print? I'll tell you what, let's go for A5 this time. So we'll press A5 and I'm just showing the, that's showing a print preview. That's me on there. And let's press print. I've just pressed that at the top. Uh, again, I'm gonna select the highest quality. There's no point selecting one of the lower qualities, and then that's just showing the print. So that, within seconds, is a printout of me. 
Uh, I must admit, I really like that. You know, considering the, uh, I suppose the, the printer itself is black and white. Uh, it's not a full color printer, uh, but I'm, I really like that. And one of the final things I wanted to show you is that you can actually print a web page. Uh, now again, all you do is you press click start and the three options on here. So you've got document, photo, which I've already printed, and then you've got web. So if you press web, what I have done is, well, a couple of options. You can either put in the website address that you want to print at the top. I have cheated a little bit and I've actually put our company website address. This is Lords Electrical. This is the, the well, it's the mobile homepage on it. Uh, but once you've selected that, once you've put the website address in, uh, you clearly you can put any website address in that you want. And all I want to do is I want to press print. What size should we go for? Let's go for A4 again. Let's get, let's get to the proper size. Uh, but this, so I'm going to select the current page. That's it. And I want to print one copy. No, I tell you what, let's print two copies. So I just want to make sure that that function works. Uh, that's two copies of the page. And then once you've done that, selected two copies, I'm just gonna press print. And again, it always just says query the firmware. What, uh, what quality do we want to print? Tell you what, this time, let's select medium uh, so that the quality won't be quite as good, but I just want to see what it looks like and then press okay. So it's printing one of two. Clearly I've just selected two copies. We've got the little blue flashing light on top. And again, it's printing very quickly. Uh, because this is the, the mobile homepage of the website, it's not got all the, the products on it. Uh, but nevertheless, again, within seconds, we've got the, the first page out. And as you can see, uh, you can either cancel the print task or I have torn the paper. Uh, what I will do this time is I want, I'm not actually going to tear the paper off because I want to have the two pages on there together. Just really to show you that that option is available. So press that and all it will do is it will just keep the paper together and it just, it, you just don't have the, the tear in the middle of the paper. And yet again, within a matter of seconds, that's done. And the reason I've showed you that, because sometimes you might not want to have individual uh, perforations of the paper. You might just have, want to have it as one long run. I know the main documents I've printed have either been A5 or A4. That's just really the document sizes that they were in to start with. Uh, but if you have got, say, a, a really long document that you wanted to print all in one go, then the only limit is the amount of paper that's within the printer. It doesn't really matter. And that's the beauty of having this. Uh, you don't have the wasted paper. I was saying earlier about waste. That's quite a bugbear of mine. Uh, but that's something I really love about this. So another huge advantage of this printer is that there are no consumables to buy with it. And what I mean by that, you've not got to buy things like ink cartridges or carbon ribbons. Uh, with a lot of other printers, what manufacturers will normally do is they'll make the printers quite cheap, but then the consumables, things like the ink cartridges, cost you a fortune. Uh, that's the beauty of this, because you're printing onto thermal paper, then there is nothing else to buy apart from a paper roll. Something else to mention, clearly I've been printing very close to the printer. So my phone is really close to the printer. Now some people will think, well, how near do I need to be to it? And apparently, if you're within 33 feet of the printer, then it will still print to it. And I must admit, I'm going to have a quick try of that. I'm going to go and take the printer outside, and I'm just going to go and pop it at the end of the garden, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to print something. So, let me just turn this round so you can see where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it at just on the, the plant pot at the end. There we are. I want to do this all in one take, just show you that I'm not cheating. So, you can see the printer. Uh, it's just at the, the back of the garden there. So I'm going to select print. What should we do? Let's do the document again. 
So hazardous list. Uh, we want to print, let's do A4. Uh, we'll just do one page this time because I've already printed several uh, pages from this document. So that's the hazardous list one that I printed earlier. I'm just going to do one page. And yeah, it's just saying that it is starting to, to well, no, I need to select the print quality. Let's go for the best quality again. I like good quality printing. And that's saying that it's printing. I can hear it wearing away. Oh, look at that. You can just see it coming through. We have success. So despite me printing quite a way away from the printer, then still really good quality. There's no loss of quality whatsoever. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you've been as impressed as I am with this printer. If you are, and if you are considering buying one, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. And also if you need any of the spare paper to go with the printer as well. I must admit, I've really enjoyed making this video. Uh, I do like talking about lots of different appliances and I've tested quite a few gadgets over the years. Uh, but very rarely something comes along where I've been super impressed as I have been with this printer. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. If you've got any questions on the printer, then just pop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you because clearly I've got this at the moment and I am going to be using this at home sort of going forward. Uh, also, if you've got any comments on the video, uh, if you've got any comments as far as you enjoyed something or if you think I should have printed something, then just let me know any feedback. Thanks for watching.